Hello, everyone, and welcome to GenScript's 2020 Spring Webinar Series. My name is Grace Tan, and I am the Product Manager for Reagent Antibody Services at GenScript. I have the pleasure of moderating today's webinar. If you have a question for the speaker or the moderators, please type it in the chat box for us to see. The speaker will be taking your questions at the end of the webinar. However, if we run out of time and she is unable to get to your question, we will be sure to send her response to you via email. So without further ado, let me introduce our speaker today, Dr. Pei Liu. Dr. Liu graduated from Nanjing University with a PhD in pharmacy. She joined GenScript in 2019 and serves as a senior scientist with the antibody department. She's mainly engaged in antibody de development and establishment of the Beacon Singles B-cell antibody discovery platform, and will be sharing some exciting work that has been done to generate rabbit monoclonal antibodies targeting SARS-CoV-2. Thank you, Dr. Liu, for joining us today. Please take it away. Okay. Uh, can you hear me clearly? So thanks for your introduction, Grace. Mm, hi, everyone. This is Pei. Uh, today, I will introduce GeneScript's uh, single B cell screening service for rabbit antibody discovery. Uh, as we know, 2020 is destined, uh, destined to be an extraordinary year. Coronavirus disease uh, 2019, also we call the, the COVID-19, uh, the infectious, infectious disease was outbreak. Uh, it can cause severe uh, acute uh, respiratory syndrome called um, coronavirus 2. So as, the, as of 27 May 2020, more than um, 5.5 million cases have been reported across 188 countries, resulting more than uh, 355,000 deaths, more than three uh, many people have under lock, uh, lockdown. The situation is very urgent. So uh, the World Health Organization declared the COVID-19 outbreak a uh, public health emergency uh, of international concern on January 30 and a pandemic on uh, March 11. So the local transmission of the disease has occurred in most countries across all six uh, WHO regions. However, until now, uh, there are no available vaccines, no specific antiviral treatments for COVID-19. Also, there are no available methods to detect the load of virus or neuralization, uh, or neuralization uh, neuralizing antibody level in serum. So in the face of the epidemic, we have worked together and fought together. Based on the single B cell platform, GeneScript have developed a high affinity rabbit monoclonal antibodies. They can be used uh, for evaluate vaccine candidates um, and measure the drug efficacy uh, access herd immunity, passport immunity, and uh, contracting tracing. So we, we got the high quality SARS-CoV-2 maps. Um, here is the outline of our topic. Uh, we will go through an overview of rabbit maps, then single B, plat uh, single B cell platform for rabbit maps generation. Most important, uh, I will introduce an important case for SARS-CoV-2 uh, antibody development. Uh, finally, uh, I will also review the GeneScript uh, Beacon Best Antibody Generation Service. So the first part, um, why rabbit uh, uh, antibodies are so popular? Affinity and uh, specificity are higher than mouse monon, uh, than mouse antibodies. Here is the answer. First, uh, the development of the rabbit B cell uh, raptor is unique. Significantly, 
uh, differs from that of other mammals. It proposes a three-step uh, process. First, the neonatal rap B cell raptor generated by uh, lymphoid uh, pulses in the fetal liver and uh, uh, omentum switching to bone marrow after birth. Although a potential uh, pool of 200 VH genes are present for heavy chain rearrangement, a majority of these are infrequently or uh, not expressed. So there are 10 to 20 D genes and uh, uh, four, uh, 4 to 5 DH genes. Then interestingly, uh, the generation of the primary raptor is, um, is highly gunt dependent. The primary pre-immune B cell raptor evolving during the first two months after birth uh, in gun in, in gun and uh, the secondary immune uh, uh, immune B cell raptor generated upon B cell um, activation by the immune gene binding. So it's the immune response. Um, this uh, post postnatal divers, uh, diversification is a European phenomenon and has so far only been observed in rabbits and pigs. There are two main mechanisms. The uh, somatic uh, mm, a gene conver conversion and the somatic uh, hypermutation uh, called the STC and the SHM. So predominantly used only in chicken and the rabbit IgG uh, gene diversification leads to the replacement of a larger nuclear uh, nucleic acid sequence strengthens with DNA fragments from the uh, non-utilized VH genes. So the secondary uh, B cell raptor is generated upon the anything dependent B cell uh, stimulation. Again, additional diversity is introduced by STC and SHM in both heavy and light genes. This events first further broaden the B cell raptor directed against a certain set of antigens associated with a specific uh, uh, pathogen. So um, besides the unique uh, uh, immune um, immune system, another important uh, aspect is the security of the inbred rabbit strains, while most mouse strains are inbred. So also the most of the strategy to generate uh, uh, maps are based on the recovery uh, of B cell from spleen, bone marrow, or blood, which are present in higher quantities in rabbits than in mice due to, um, due to their overall larger body size. Compared to mice, uh, 50 times more spleen B cell can be recovered from rabbit. In addition, the, in addition, uh, the inter uh, the interchain uh, dice, uh, dice bridge between uh, 1680 and uh, 1671 in the CT is not found in human and uh, uh, or mouse light chains. So the rabbit IgG is more stability than mouse IgG. As discussed uh, in the upon section, in the up section, um, Upon section, the rabbit uh, use different uh, uh, mechanisms uh, to genetically generate the and uh, diver uh, diversify their primary and the secondary antibody raptors compared to humans and mice. So effectively creating a complementary set of binders for the difficult uh, uh, antigens. So rabbit uh, maps have been used uh, uh, extensively as analytical tools in the uh, in the biomedical research and uh, especially for immunological techniques such as IHC, ELASA, FX, um, and the Western blotting. Uh, rabbit uh, PBs have also been utilized as uh, an important tool and. Uh, 
for the safety maps and uh, uh, for uh, for the safety uh, assessments so far, um, eleven rabbit uh, maps are FDA approved in the virtual diagnostic uh, tools in the clinic. So all uh, the maps and uh, maps derive uh, the antibody uh, therapeutics are currently widely used to treat human disease such as cancer and uh, autoimmune disease. So it can be used uh, for the uh, therapeutics. As previous discussed, uh, for, diff uh, for difficult antigens, rabbit maps is your best choice. Um, here is a comparison of an anti uh, beta acting monoclonal antibodies produced by rabbit and mice. For the mouse, uh, the anti beta acting monoclonal antibody uh, produced by genes group was realized by anti mouse uh, Mm, 568 the, and uh, directly compared with the anti-rabbit FITC uh, visualization. So the, the co-localization uh, local, co -localization, uh, image shows that the rabbit anti-beta actin has significantly more binding than mice, indicating that uh, the rabbit maps anti beta acting monoclonal antibody has a higher affinity. So the here is the application uh, in the diagnostic. In the virtual diagnostic, a variety of, as we know, a variety of IVD assays, such as the IHC, ELASA, and the uh, uh, radio immune assay are based on the principles of antigen antibody binding. So given the pretty, uh, critical role of these assays in patient uh, uh, animal care, it's extremely important that uh, IVD assays are carried out to use the highest, highest uh, sensitivity and affinity maps available. Um, so in the in view, in view, view, uh, view image, visualization of maps can be accomplished in numerous means. Uh, however, the most uh, common method is through labeling of maps with radioactive or uh, fluorescent molecules to help track them in the body and uh, add in qualifying the results. So um, here for the anti uh, edu type antibodies. As we know, the anti edu type antibodies is widely used for the uh, PK kit development. It should be high affinity because the PK assay are used to mirror the absorption and excretion rates, uh, distribution, and the half life of candidate small molecules or member therapeutics. Results from these assays help identify the optimal dose or toxicity risk of a therapeutic molecule. Mm, therefore, they need to be sensitive enough to capture trace amounts of the antibody target in free bound and total forms in the uh, biological fluid, uh, fluid samples. For the MAP therapeutics, uh, mm, is uh, the specificity and the sensitivity of the antibody towards its target antigen ensure both safety and uh, uh, toxicity concerns. So highly specific antibodies can avoid off-target binding and hence offer safety. Uh, highly sensitive antibodies require low dosage administration and hence cause a minimum uh, level of toxicity. So for the cutting therapy, they can help construct uh, the SCF weighting of the chimeric antigen receptor, and they generate uh, sensitive, uh, sensitive and specific uh, anti-ID maps that uh, help with uh, monitoring the effects um, and uh, of the target mm, of the therapy. So. So, 
Sorry. So for the second part, uh, as we present the rabbit uh, monoclonal is very important. So we have we 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 establish the single B platform for rabbit uh, map generation. Uh, with uh sorry, we established the single B cell platform for rabbit maps this year. Um uh, like human and mouse platform, there are three main platform for rabbit uh maps. First, the feature display. As we know, it was invented by George Smith. He discovered that the minor culture protein of uh, of Filamentous speed can be modified as its amino terminals to present a peptide sequence without affecting phage infectivity. The advantage of phage display is uh, it, it can higher screening range short time only several weeks uh, if not immunized the animal. Rabbit maps were difficult to generate by hybridoma technology for a number of years. So, um, so uh, the feature display can provide a strong incent uh, incentive for exploring and the accessibility of a rabbit immune and uh, antibody raptors by feature display. For the hybridoma platform, the hybridoma technology is a method to generate uh, a stable cell line that uh, can constantly secrete, uh, secrete a defined maps. For this purpose, uh, the B cell derived from immunized animal are fused with a, a myeloma cell line in the presence of a poly uh, in the poly uh, poly line uh, uh, in the poly, uh, by the uh, electronic instruments. So our hybridoma platform is very mature and uh, high efficient, but the uh, screening time is longer after uh, fusion. And uh, we may miss some B cell raptor, uh, but uh, uh, for beacon, uh, so, so for the beacon uh, count, so we introduced the single B platform so I will give you a detailed uh, introduction for this platform. Um, so this in this is our uh, new single B platform from based on beacon from the comparison. Uh, from from the comparison, you can see that uh, the hybridoma platform may miss some uh, B cell raptor. Um, during the fueling, but uh, on the beacon platform, we can got we can get the full B cell raptor, and the screening time can short from uh, twelve weeks to one day. So it's it's the biggest advantage uh, of the beacon platform is very quick. Uh, here is the uh, general workflow on beacon. Uh, so the first uh, important step is the preparation. We need uh, uh, preparing the wetting and uh, uh, raising, uh, uh, including washing the machine and the wetting uh, tip. We also need uh, to prepare import and uh, culture regions and uh, the assay regions. Second, uh, we will, uh, the most uh, important uh, step is the load cells. So single cells will be loaded in each pan. Uh, the pan efficiency is 80% for the uh, 14K chip. We can load about uh, uh, 12K cells. So third most important is the assay step. This perform an internal base in uh, best assay. So the polystyrene bead concatenated with the uh, AB anti-IgG uh, anti the FC region. So it can bind in the secreted uh, a uh, antibodies. Then we use the uh, second uh, uh, antibody conjugated with a floor um, floor recent uh, labeled. So uh, so it can 
uh, we can screen in the positive heat. Then finally, uh, we will export the B cell to um, 96 PCR plate. Uh, besides the best, uh, best uh, I, anti IgG assay, we also can do the antigen uh, best antigen assay in the uh, in the level of a single B. Then uh, we can we can also do the multiple antigen uh, assay. Uh, most important, uh, we also can do the cell best antigen uh, cell best assay. We can use uh, overexpress the antigen cell cell line. Uh, when the secreted antibody binding with the antigen, the the cell will be turned green. We we have constructed a GFP uh, protein in these cells. Then we can screen in the uh, positive heat um, by the um, by the um, by the green turn green signal. Um, this is a proposal for single B cell antibody discovery uh, on beacon. So phase one, uh, if clients can't provide antigen, we can we need to design and produce the antigen to immunize the rabbit or, or mouse. Then we will enrich the plasma B cell from the spleen, uh, bone marrow, or uh, and uh, uh, lymph nodes cells, uh, lymph nodes. All, all, all enrich the membrane B cell from PBMC. For mouse, we will use the the commercial kit, uh, CD one hundred thirty H positive cells enrich kit. Uh, and for the uh, rabbit, we can use the antigen enrichment uh, method um, to enrich more antigen specific B cells. In the phase in the phase uh, three, we will screen in the positive heat on the beacon. Mm. But uh, on the phase four and the phase five, we can get the antibody sequence in two weeks. Our new platform is an automated, efficient, and a comprehensive platform. So uh, we can acceler uh, accelerate your antibody dis discoveries. Step. So for the SARS-CoV-2 case study, uh, based on the beacon, um, here is our target. Uh, IBD protein. Um, as we know, the virus use a special service glycoprotein uh, glyco called a spike to connect uh, uh, to the SE2 and uh, enter the host cell. The most important uh, binding region is the IBD protein. So we develop uh, an anti S IBD antibodies. First, uh, we want to use these antibodies to develop an elastic to, to detect a virus. Second, uh, they may have the potential use for the therapeutic, uh, therapeutic applications. So based on the single platform, we have generated the COVID-19 as, um, uh, COVID as protein antibodies. Here is the animation display on the loading cells. So you can, so you can see the movie. When we load the cell in the channel and uh, we based on the uh, electronic uh, light, the, the, sing the single B cells will pan in the pan. And uh, here is the essay, essay video. If, if the single B in this pan can secrete antibodies, the Bs in the channel will be shy. So finally, we, we got uh, 142 antigen positive hits for the for this uh, for this uh, project. We test several as uh, as proteins antibodies from the rabbit 
So these antibodies have a higher um, affinity and also diversity. Uh, the the EC fifty range from p p gram to nanogram, and the eight antibodies have four epitopes. These three clones is from the hybridoma uh, platform. You can see the we we test the uh, uh we sequence five clones and got uh, four positive clones, uh, but the three clones are share the same uh, epitope. So the so the hybridoma uh I think the hybridoma uh diversity uh is. I think the beacon's diversity is uh, better than the hybridoma platform. And also we um, also we have made the uh, mouse antibodies on the hybridoma platform. We we tested the affinity by uh, by the uh, Biaco machine. So the rabbit antibody is. Uh, Ten to hundred uh, uh, times higher than the mouse antibody. Here is our results. Uh, also, the rabbit uh, has a very good uh, blocking effect on the ACE2 protein. So, uh, this is we doing a uh, blocking assay uh, on the ELASA. Use the ELASA method. Uh, the rabbit, uh, the rabbit maps ha can block the the ACE2 protein. And then we uh, we test the the we test the rabbit uh, monorab by using the seed uh, seed virus neuralization method. So uh, from the results, you can see that our rabbit maps can neuralize the virus and uh, prevent the virus from infecting the human cells. So um, then we conjugated the antibody, antibodies um, with binding and acquired eight paired antibodies. We choose one of the best pair. Uh, here we choose this pair. Uh, to develop um, to develop the ELASA kit. So the ELASA kit has a higher uh, sensitivity. It's about uh, uh twenty picogram and uh millimeter, and uh, it uh, also can detect uh, uh seed virus. We also use the antibody to test the RBD uh, overexpressing cell lines. Uh, you can see that that is has a uh, the results uh, nineteen here is in the nineteen seven percent of cells could be sorted. So the antibody uh, has a good uh, specificity. It uh, also can be used uh, for the uh, for the WB experiment, so with higher specificity. Here we also use the mouse anti serum as the control. You can see as the uh, same as the at the same level, the the rabbit uh, signal is uh, uh, high is strong than the mouse anti serum. Here is a summary of SARS-CoV-2 as protein rabbit maps. We can meet the needs of different applications. If you're interested, so welcome, contact us. Mm, uh, so uh, I want to introduce the, the more projects we have done. Uh, here is the summary. Uh, these projects are uh, we based on the beacon platform for the different targets, uh, the number of positive hits um, are, are ranging from 21 to uh, 298. So it's correlated with the type of the targets. Uh, for the transmembrane protein target, the, 
the number of positive hits is lower than the normal protein, than the normal protein uh, and uh, the peptide uh, targets. So the uh, different uh, different projects have different uh, uh, results. So the, the, the final part is our GeneScript Beacon Best Antibody Generation Service. Um, if your project is time, sen uh, time sensitivity or you want to get more uh, clones with diversity, you can choose our Beacon platform. Um, you can start by immunizing, uh, immunizing the animals after immunization. Uh, we will prepare a single V-cell suspension uh, by selecting and isolating animal spleen cells, uh, bone marrow, or lymph nodes. Then we will enrich and uh, the screening step uh, will be completed uh, within one day, so it's very fast. In addition, we can start with prepared B-cell uh, from customer, such as B-cells from a uh, rabbit, uh, ferret, uh, or recovered uh, patient. We can isolate uh, PBMC, then enrich uh, plasma B cell or enrich uh, all the B memory B cell. Mm. So uh, do the screening and the B cell activation, no matter uh, what kind of species ma um, materials, um, you, if you're interested in our um, platform, please, uh, contact us uh, currently. Uh, we are recruiting beta tester. Uh, if you join, you can have a greater discounts. Why we um, can uh, get, uh, why we uh, we can make the research easy because we have many patent technologies to ensure your antibody development success. So we have the optimal uh, optimal antigen design tool. It can generate a superior peptide antigen synthesis. Uh, also, we have the immune plus uh, reagent uh, technologies. Uh, it's, a prop, um, it's a proprietary method to break uh, immune tolerance of uh, highly immunologous uh, antigens. Also, we can provide the uh, uh, mm, gene uh, immunization uh, service uh, for the difficult uh, mm, antibodies, for, for example, the transmembrane uh, uh, target. Uh, you can choose our gene immuni immunization service. So GeneScript offers a wide array of customer antibody service. However, besides our services uh, alone, we offer uh, we we oh, mm, we we can offer some amazing advantages to help um, to help make your research easy. In fact, we have generated so many uh, highly qualified antibodies that we can we were even awarded the uh, site AB award for the most generated uh, most popular customer antibody supplier of. 2018 and 2020. On top of our, uh, of our experience, our services offer a wide array of patent technologies to increase uh, the efficiency of your antibody. We also have the a full ALAC and OLAC or iCook certified uh, of the host, uh, to host of all our animals. So we also have the 24-7 uh, PhD level technical support to act as a consul um, consultant on each project. Lastly, but uh, most importantly, we offer, we offer milestone-based project man um, management consultation and uh, pricing with every customer project. So, okay, everyone. Well, that uh, brings up to the end of our presentation. And now we would like uh, to move to the QA section. Session. So, so Grace. 
Thank you, Dr. Liu, for such a wonderful presentation. Uh, as Dr. Liu said, we will now move on to the Q&A portion of this presentation. Please take a few moments now to type your questions into the question box. As you are typing in your questions, I would like to share that for researchers who would like to give our Beacon platform for mouse and rabbit antibody discovery a try, we are currently recruiting beta testers to test out our service at a significant discount. In fact, Genscript is the first company in the world to offer a rabbit antibody discovery service using this platform. Additionally, we have a wide range of over 50 SARS-CoV-2 antibodies available for purchase, including the antibodies Dr. Liu presented in this webinar. For researchers who want to test out several antibodies, we do offer 10 antibody sample packs. Please reach out to your account manager or visit our website for more details. Hi everyone, um, due to some technical difficulties on Dr. Pei's, uh, Pei Liu's end, I will actually be responding to questions on her behalf. Um, she is giving me answers to these questions as they are being asked. So please continue to submit uh, your questions. And um, if, any, if there are any additional questions that we are not able to get to, once again, we will be um, responding to them directly uh, separately by emailing you. So please, um, please continue uh, submitting your questions to us. Um, so the first question uh, that we have received is, how would the rabbit antibodies differ in quality to that of camelid antibodies, such as nanobodies for monoclonal production? Um, the answer to that is that um, rabbit antibodies are general full length antibody expression while for camelid antibodies as just VHH. So generally full length expression, uh, antibody expression is more stable than VHH and you will get higher, uh, higher yield from that. Um, the next question uh, is, in general, how many anti rabbit antibodies can you get out of one B cell screening experiment? Um, the answer to that is it really depends on the experiment and number of antibodies generated will vary based on several factors uh, such as immunogen type. Um, from these experiments, uh, we were able to get over 100 antibodies and um, because the rabbit spleen is quite large, it is possible to expand the number of antibodies generated um, by increasing the number of chips on the beacon platform. However, that will also uh, drive up the cost. Uh, let me see. Uh, the next question is, for neutralizing antibodies, did you test to see where the antibodies bind on the spike protein? Um, the answer to that is we did epitope binning, but we do not currently have information regarding the specific binding site. In order for that to be determined, for binding to be determined, more experiments will need to be done in order to identify the specific binding site. So the other question is, am I understanding correctly that you will receive human, Sarah, ferret, or other species and isolate, screen, clone, and express recombinant antibodies as a service. And yes, that, that is what uh, this service is able to provide. All right, and I think the final question is that we are able to take right now. Um, for the ACE2 blocking and pseudovirus neutralization assays, did you compare to mouse antibodies and do rabbit antibodies perform better? And the answer is yes. So from the neutralization and ACE2 blocking assays, on average, the rabbit antibodies were able to perform 10 to 100 times better than our mouse antibodies. 
Um, we Once again, we apologize for uh, the technical difficulties. And unfortunately, we are out of time and have to conclude this webinar. Um, we have received all your questions and we will be responding to them individually. Um, thank you uh, to everyone who has been present here. And thank you, Dr. Liu, for being so generous and sharing your research with us. Um, and thank you for taking the time out of your day to join us for this time of learning. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to email us or visit our website. And um, we will make a rec rec recording of this webinar available to all uh, for review. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Goodbye.